All right, guys, I wasn't going to turn on the camera, but then I thought some people may need inspiration today. So I'm turning on the camera. And there's a little baby. She's like, um, what about me, Mom? What about me? Every time I turn the camera on, they want to be up on the counter to season. Um, but anyway, so long story short, down to the cuts of meat that we've been holding off on because we really don't want to use them. And... <laughs> It's our steaks, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, our steaks were cut horribly, and they're just, they're not very good. Um, so I hide that by putting them in a crock pot and making them look like roast. And we're going to serve this particular dish over mashed potatoes, and I'm making a crusty bread in the um, Dutch oven. And that's what we're having today. So in here I have about four ribeyes underneath and then on top I have four big sirloin steaks. To that I added one packet of brown gravy mix, one packet of au jus gravy mix, and one packet of ranch and then a stick of butter. And this is going to be similar to my Mississippi roast or Mississippi chicken recipe that I have made in the past and I have videos on both those but I don't have any pepperoncinis, and I'm not planning on going to the grocery store until Sunday. Today is Thursday, so we are just using what we have in the pantry, which is what we've been doing really for about two months now. Um, except for essential things, I haven't been going to the grocery store. So this is going to be delicious, I already know, because the flavors are right. And I wanted to bring you along because sometimes... You just got to think outside of the box. Would you normally put steak in a crock pot and cook it like roast? Probably not. But if you have a piece of meat that you may not like, this is a good way to hide it. So that is why I'm bringing you along. This, I have a third baby here today. Um, this is still partially frozen, so I'm going to put this on low and just let it go all day. You could also put it on high, and it should be done in three to four hours. So I will bring you back when this is ready to go. And you can see my little baby. Step on the counter. All right. So, all right. So I know it's in a different pan, and it is because it is the next day. Um, we ended up not eating dinner until really late, and I completely forgot to do an outro and ending to my video. So, this is leftovers that we are having, me and the girls are having for lunch. You can see that it made a gravy. I did not thicken this at all. This is the gravy. And the meat is super tender. It falls right off the bone, which is what I like, especially since um, it was supposed to be boneless to begin with. But, Anyway, it's slow roast all day. It's super tender, super flavorful because of the seasoning packets that we put into it. And like I said, it made its own gravy. Plus, um, it gets nutrients from the bones as well. Now, obviously, not the same as if you were to cook it for 48 hours and make traditional bone broth. But, you still get some since it's slow roasted all day long. Um, so, yeah. This is the ending of my video, but it's super tender. I mean, and to me, it tastes like a high quality roast. It's just instinctful. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a super easy crock pot recipe that you can use to use up meat that you may not particularly like, or cuts that are super tough, which in all honesty, these steaks are pretty tough um, if you try to just grill them. So this is how I'm going to be using up the last of mine. Also, if you follow my meal planning Mondays, this meal is in place of the um, stew meat that I was going to do over mashed potatoes. We did this cut of meat instead. I am okay switching out uh, meats like that. It's the same dish I was going to make, but with steaks, because I just bought two 20-pound turkeys, 
and I needed the freezer space. So the steaks, the steaks won for dinner because they're bigger than the stew meat. So I will see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.